Hey everybody, it's Michael Espinoza, the Sightless Senshi. I have a pretty fun video for today. I've got a picking challenge. Here we have a box. Um, this box is not locked, but this box contains a lock. Um, my girlfriend picked, or, or rather pinned up, a uh, challenge lock for me. Um, let's have a look at what she's got in here. Um, this is actually um, the ultimate adversary challenge lock made by uh, LearnLockPicking.com. Um, <laughs> So we pinned it up to match the key for the, the lock. It comes with its own key. Uh, and we pinned that up a while ago. And uh, this is the key for it. Um, it's, a, it's your basic Schlage keyway. And the key goes in, but we've since changed the, the, the pinning. So the key no longer works. Um, but that's not really the, the operative point anymore. Um, basically what happened was I didn't realize that it's a bad idea to turn locks uh, challenge locks when you're picking them more than you know 90 degrees and then things can fall and get twisted up in the lock Luckily my girlfriend was able to save this one um, When that happened and a spring got caught in it and then I did it a second time and she had to save it again um, in Let's say retaliation for that she has repinned it in a far more challenging way for those who haven't seen the ultimate adversary lock from learnlockpicking.com uh, you can see it has these uh, hex screws along the top, and that lets you open up each chamber and pin it up the way you want it, and um, you know just dump everything out and pin it up, uh, you know driver pins, key pins, and all that. And when it opens, this tail piece will turn, um, you know, to here or all the way to here if we want to completely ruin it yet again, uh, which we won't. But let's go and try and get this thing picked and see what evil challenge my girlfriend has uh, has laid out for me. Um, by my understanding, let me try and get this out of the way. Uh, let's go ahead and get this in the vice. So, uh, sorry, uh, Sailor Jupiter, you're gonna have to move somewhere else for right now. You can just go chill over there. Um, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, probably should have moved that earlier. Anyway, uh, let's get the lock set up. Uh, oh, this should actually be almost the right fit. Let me just tighten this a little bit. Okay. Now, I, I know, you know what, let me angle that up a little bit just to give it a little bit easier. There we go. Anyway, uh, I know my girlfriend and I know one thing she loves are serrated pins. Um, that should give all of you an idea of what kind of person she is. A cruel, cruel sadist. Um, anyway, um, so I know there's at least uh, two serrated pins in here. I think it's a, so we got five pins. And if I recall correctly, what she was doing to uh, to punish me for breaking this lock a couple of times and making her have to save it, um, she put in, I believe, two serrateds, two spools, and a standard. So let's see what we can do about this. Uh, I'm going to go and do bottom of the keyway, uh, and we'll see if we can get through this punishment lock. <laughs> let's see what we got here. So I'm going to do heavy tension to try and find that first serrated pin. I know that's one I'm going to have to attack first. Okay, I think it's number two lighten up on that tension let's see what else we can find in here hmm. oh dropped number oh no 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 hang on yeah drop number two let's try and get that back up okay we're doing my own filming today guys so uh, hopefully everything is gonna stay in frame this whole time girlfriend just set me up with the punishment lock and left me on my own <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. What we, that's what I'm gonna call this now. This is this is not the challenge lock. This is the punishment lock. Um, yeah. Let's see. Ooh, it is still okay. Number five is a little little sticky there. Let's see if we can get that one to go up. Come on, come on. There we go. I hear the kitty cats running around. If you hear any jingling, guys, that's kitty cats. Oh, and they, the, the cats have decided to wrestle in here, I think is what's happening. I think they decided to wait till I was filming a video so they could come in and wrestle. Kind of wish I had another camera set up. We could do a little picture-in-picture. Picture. And then, you know, no one would watch me lockpick because they'd be distracted by cute kitty cats. Okay, let's ease up on that tension a bit. I am getting nowhere with this, but I can get it. Oh, oh got a little bit of action here. Come on. Um, so what I'm picking this with, just so I can give you all an idea, is a uh, um, both sparrows tools. One is a uh, the sparrows uh, tension tool, the Z 
the Z-shaped ones. I'm using the short end of that. It's their thickest one. And that's in the bottom of the keyway. And then I have um, a Sparrow's Half Diamond. Uh, she actually also 3D printed the handle for this. Just a fun little aside there. Uh, my girlfriend, Kelsey, she is a remarkable... Um, 3D printing person. I would I would say she's a remarkable 3D printer, but she is not the printer itself. <laughs> she is a person. A cruel, cruel person who loves serrated pins and hates me. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, let's see. Come on. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, tension on these springs. There's a very strong spring in number, uh, uh, what number is that? Number five has a really strong spring in it. That thing is just fighting me. I'm half afraid I'm going to break up the pick trying to get it up under there and get that pin to rise. Getting some clicks off of it. That's good. That's good. Eh. And have an itch. There we go. Luckily, maintain tension. I don't think I lost anything. Got it. A lot of a lot of action at the beginning at the you know round pins one and two and I'm not really uh, I think I'm kind of dropping them when I'm trying to set the others so I'm gonna really work on that okay got a really distinctive click off two that time I think I'm going too far back in the lock not everything not every chamber here is pinned up and I need to be careful of that because I think what I'm doing is going a little too far back and then the 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 shaft of the pick is uh maybe bumping some of the other pins that need to be left alone. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to rake this thing because it's a challenge lock and that doesn't feel fair. Got a tiny bit of, uh, I don't know if I really even want to call that a false set. I got a tiny bit of a something. Let's see. Number two definitely needs to be the first one to be picked. Uh, let me go ahead and, you know, I'm going to re make sure this thing is reset because uh, I'm not getting anywhere with it. Or if I am, I don't want to jeopardize that by having overset, or I think I overset something and I don't know even if I did try to get somewhere if it would actually go. Uh, okay, let's see. Come on, you. I still hear the cats jingling around. Okay. Really, really light tension to fight these serrations. If I can, if I can get past the serrations and get into the spools, I'll be all set. Because spools are not all that big of a deal. They're kind of a, they kind of deal with themselves, as it were. Okay, got a decent click off four. Okay, got into a false set, guys. This is good. This is a good place to be. Let's see, we've got some counter rotation on pin three. Let's see. Oh, a little bit of feeling off one. Come on, come on. Yeah, counter rotation, big time counter rotation. And we have an open. Let me go ahead and pull this out of the vise so I can show you all what I'm talking about. We have an open. Check that out. And we'll go ahead and stop that tailpiece right there so that Kelsey doesn't have to come save this thing again because I honestly don't think she will. Um, <laughs> but, yep, we picked it. We got it open. Um, we have um, two serrateds, two spools, and a... Uh, a standard and we have it open so I think if I show this to her 
uh, she very well might try and pin it up and make it more difficult. And who knows, maybe next time she might try to lock up something important. So let's uh, just lock this up and pretend I still can't get it, shall we? <laughs> all right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Thank you again so much. Please feel free to uh, uh, like, drop me a comment, uh, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your enemies, uh, you know, all that good stuff. All right, thank y'all so much, and I will see you next time.